Welcome back to Red Dirt Magnet Fishing. We are here at the Bricktown Canal once again. I am directly in front of Bricopolis. And on this other side over here is a mini golf course. Let's see what we can find. Let's get to it. First throw, we've already got something. Uh, oh, I don't know. Welding rod, maybe? I don't know what those look like. Felt like we were pulling something, but all we got is some scraps here and a little gear here. I think that is the blade out of a, uh, like a Norelco razor. Weird. Just feel like we're hitting stuff. How oh, is this? Oh, got a screw on the other side of the head of a putter from this mini golf place, probably. I wonder if they want that back. <laughs> Something else. Another putter head. That looks like some kind of coin. Huh, that's oh, a seven on it. I have to clean that up, check that out later. Let's set that aside. I think that's the first coin that we've caught. This is the area where they do the boarding and deboarding of the water taxis where the little canal tours start. Right over here. Oof. Just some little bits and bobs. I do feel a lot of stuff down there. That doesn't necessarily feel like we're pulling anything, just like maybe the the rebar and the concrete for the canal is shallow. Certainly didn't pick up anything with that throw. Did get a new camera, so hopefully the video and audio quality are turning out pretty well here. Looks like a bunch of stuff this time, an earring, some wiring, a couple bottle caps, stick. Is that another coin? Huh. 
Ooh, hey, we got the other the other pair of that earring. Some more wire, screw, other earring. Feels like we're dragging something. Oh, maybe not. Maybe a button. Something here. Uh, cotter pin or hairpin and a screw. Looks like new. Can I get under this bridge? It's the Sandridge Bridge walkway. Let's uh, put a cork in it winery here. It's a pretty decent winery. You go in and do a little wine tasting. Let you sample a few different ones. And you can pick out one you like. Just under a piece of flake. Uh, pretty good luck so far. It's a magnet. Yeah. Looks like we got something here. Oh, came off. Whatever it was. I wonder if it was just a stick or something, because I'm not feeling anything. Click. Looks like I'm pulling something right there. I can see the magnet now. What do we got? Oh my. If uh, we can grab that with the hook, maybe if we can grab it. Oh, that's one of the tables from this restaurant. Just exactly like this table here. I 
I knew I felt something down there. Oh, somebody's lost their USB-C charging cable. I got a twofer. I think what I'd hooked on earlier was this table, but because of the shape of it, it like drifted in a weird spot from where I had initially hooked it when it slipped loose. That's why I couldn't find it again. We got some bottle caps, a couple of them. This one is a uh, sparkle. I can't make out what that one is. I do watch other YouTubers other magnet fishers on YouTube. I uh, introduced a couple of those to you last week in a recent video with uh, Team Sneak Attack and 907 Outdoor Adventures. So I've decided I'm going to do a call out to other magnet fishers in my videos as I go along. Other people that I watch their videos in case you're interested in maybe checking out some other magnet fishers on YouTube. And this week I'm going to Talk to you a little bit. Let's see what we got here. Plants. Bunch of just little stuff. Uh, Magnet Mission and Rich from Magnet Mission. I'm going to put a link in to his channel in the comments below. Check him out. I enjoy watching his videos because he's He's always so upbeat and he's energetic and he's just fun to watch. Plus he has a pretty heavy clamp magnet also. And if he can't pull something up and he thinks he feels down there, he'll just jump in the water and swim down and see what he can find. Rich at Magnet Mission. jar lid somebody's receipt so long it's got to be a CVS receipt right <laughs> what is that things new. Oh, some kind of uh, pendant. Huh. Interesting. Oh. Picked up another knife. First knife of the day. Oh. Ashley from Team Sneak Attack. I know you got this thing about find and use. Well, I got you. Fortunately, with these good gloves, you're not under my skin. Oh, dad jokes. Excuse me. I, I pulled a table out of the canal. I pulled a table out of the canal. I, I got one... Thank you. Looks like they've got different styles of tables out here.
after me going there. Hey, sir. Hey, I, uh, I'm out here with the magnet, what? and I, I pulled the table out of the canal. Oh, okay. One of your tables. I, I just left it. It's sitting over here up against the sign. All right. Thank you. So yep. you find it on the canal. Yeah, it was in the canal. Okay. I got a big right. magnet. Oh, okay. Pulled it out. All right. Thank you. Yep. Look at that, another U. It's a W day. Oops, and a washer. Ooh, what are we getting now? Uh, somebody's. Looks like one of the ear pieces is missing off of that. Got this uh, cord. I don't know what that's to. It's almost like a lanyard, but not quite. What does it say? Is it? Yeah. All right, we'll take it. Oh, and a screw, a little screw. Yeah, something there. Is it? Yeah, I think it's just catching the rebar through the concrete, maybe. Still, we'll go real slow. I don't feel any extra weight now. Oh, there we go. Some sunnies. Oh, these have not been down there too long at all. It's a little dirty on the lenses, but mostly clear. Keep those out of the bucket and separate. I picked up a new piece of equipment. I don't know if you've picked up on it yet. It's a nice cart here. Our friends from Team Sneak Attack and 907 Outdoor Adventures had them, and some other magnet fishers have them. So I thought, well, that's, that'll make moving around the canal a lot nicer. I don't have to carry everything. I can just put it in a wagon and roll it around. So I forgot I was going to move on to the next spot after finding those. Oh, there it is. Another little washer. Oh, this is right by some stairs and an elevator, so this might be another good spot. I uh, pulled a couple of golf club heads out down by the mini golf thing uh, earlier, and uh, there's a table up here set up that I pulled it out from that bar. Yeah, I find about three scooters every time I come out here. Are you recording for Yep, I'm a red dirt magnet fishing. Really? Yes. How far are they staying, I think? Do you mind being on video? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was that last question? Red dirt magnet fishing. 
Oh, thank you. Have a great day. Feels like I'm pulling something. Oh yeah, there's definitely some weight there. Oh gee, I know what that is. That is the top off one of the trash cans, the round ones. I'll see one of the round ones right here, but it's definitely what that is. Set that there so when they come by, I saw somebody while ago picking up trash. Oh, what is this? Washi tape or oh, some kind of roller? Didn't even realize there was more stuff on there. What's this? Huh. Oh, hey, one of these is magnetic. Too screwed, too furious. That's a nut. Oh, got a nut. Some rocks. Oh, I think I know. That is like a pair of wire strippers. It's got like different notches and it's labeled for different gauges. Huh. Yes, sir. I uh, pulled the table out. Feels like something right there. Yeah, I'm definitely pulling on something now. Taking it real slow. I would not be surprised if this was another scooter. Starting to slip. Let's see. Immediately after somebody asked me if I got anything good today. Find our first scooter of the day. Set that drain out a bit. This one's a Lime scooter. KZA SBE. Oh, that's heavy, whatever it is. It's another one of those decorative pieces from the from the bridge. Up there.
That is it today for red dirt magnet fishing from the Bricktown Canal with uh, new equipment. Found my first coin, another scooter as usual, and some other cool stuff. Don't forget to check out Rich's channel, which I'll link in the description below. And we'll see you later. But don't forget, like, subscribe, and click on the bell icon to get notifications for new videos come out. We'll see you around, friends.